and common for archaeologists to find certain objects inside tombs, not only in the Roman period, but also in other cultures such as the Phoenicians. In this case, we are seeing the Phoenician pendant made between the 7th and the 1st century BC and it representing the Egyptian divinity known as Horus and it's made out of faience. In this case, this pendant may be an apropatheic pendant, meaning it was meant to protect this person not only in this life, but also to guard this person in the life beyond death. It is not an uncommon object to find. In fact, here in the catacombs of St. Paul, we find many other examples. It's important to know that the Phoenicians were great seafarers and they often encountered other cultures throughout their journeys. And it was not uncommon either for the Phoenicians to adopt foreign characteristics in their own culture and adopt them into their own, such as in their art and in this case into their religion as well. Horus was a particular Egyptian divinity to see. He was often represented as a man with a falcon's head, or in this case, as we see him now, as a falcon. Who knows who wore this pendant and what he wanted from the divinity Horus. Ensuring a future to our past.